ਤੇਰੀ ਮਿਹਰ ਦਾ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਤੂੰ ਦਿਆਗੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਦ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਜੁਗਾਦ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਧਰਮਾ in his form as a science and as an art and it's very amazing that uh, it has its roots and is nurturing basically in the western hemisphere i have no traditional conflict but fundamentally the research reads this way today we are celebrating sri guru granth guru gaddi day in other words we are celebrating the guru gaddi day of the shabd guru word shabd is shabd shab means machoism ego when i is bigger than thou that's shay shay means provoking conflicting uh, when a person just go take non reality as a reality and threats you and expands himself and boasting that's called shay boosting and boasting is called shay bad means when you chop off the neck of something is called bad cut it and from there the word come badi badi means bad deeds what is not morally ethically spiritually right is called badi but it comes from bad that means badi is that which kills human faculty and his journey in the life as a human it makes him absolutely painfully useless if you take a animal and do go do it in a muslim way to cut his neck slowly and recite the word of god on it and just magnify that scene for a minute is called kosher kosher killing is a very qualified killing it takes the animal put him down knock him down and uh, calm him down beat him up whatever you do and then you take a knife and go slowly reciting the name of allah or god or scriptures and so slowly you cut the uh artery and bleed the animal to death and that pain they say is beyond any conception and exception to be tolerated and you call it halal or you call it kosher or you call bad the from there the word come came badi badi means misfortune and is one of the sweetest misfortune ever understood realized by a man from that word you can understand shabad means something which kosherize the man's destiny to god the shabad is that cuts down that badi that bad luck shabd guru guru is a word gore is called grave grave is called gore grave ru means which bring light even into the grave and the word ru become ru ru means soul so i i'm trying to tell you the nad the sound elementary sound from where this word came to the man shabd guru we always call and in the bible in the beginning there was a word word was with god and word was god 
ਇਨ ਜਬ ਜੀ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਨਾਨਕ ਅਸੰਖ ਨਾਉ ਸੰਖ ਤਾਉ ਗਮ ਗਮ ਸੰਖ ਲੋ ਦੈਟ ਪੋਰੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਸ ਦੀ ਹੋਲ ਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਨਾਮ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਪਰਪੈਚੁਅਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਆਫ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਐਕਸਟੈਸੀ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਅਨੰਦ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਸਤ ਚਿਤ ਅਨੰਦ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਲਾਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੂਡ ਰਾਈਟਲੀ ਨਾਮ ਮੀਨਸ ਨਾਉਨ ਨਾਉਨ ਮੀਨਸ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਆਇਡੈਂਟੀਟੀ ਮਾਈ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਆਇਡੈਂਟੀਟੀਸ ਬਾਉਸ ਟੂ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਬਾਉ ਥੈਟ ਮਾਈ ਵਰਡਸ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਲਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਸਰਾਊਂਡਿੰਗ ਈਵਨ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਇਨ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਵ ਯਾਰਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਇਨ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਵ ਵਾਟ ਐਕਸਟੈਸੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਅਦਰ ਥੈਨ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟੀਕਲ a performa profile of an ecstasy that doesn't matter what is wrong with you it is a material but when you speak it should be heavenly it should be authentic when it you teach it should be penetrating cut throat straight truth it is it is what it is therefore shabad guru means we are free from man's opinion worship our experience or whatever you want to call it if we are free from man's worship then what we are worshiping then we are worshiping ourselves as a man shabad guru and the domain only practically means that you worship yourself by yourself be yourself worship yourself by yourself that's exactly what shabd guru means if you want to know what it practically means it practically means you read the guru you read the gurbani you understand you preach you translate you do everything but there's a one thing you have to do and that is you have to be you and you are every shabad which is a akashic record when spoken matters there's a one scriptural thing which i'll let you know his this is how it goes oh man in those days man included woman these days there's a difficulty but i have to translate exactly as it is oh man speak not silence is god when thou speaks in you thou also writes in heavens for your tomorrow and today on your forehead and that is what karma is now you will understand whatever you say and saying is not what you speak through the tongue only you speak through thoughts also that's a real stuff you speak through your thoughts and thoughts are on which you have no control intellect releases 1000 thought per wink of the eye that's the law of life whenever it reduces jarai the joban haria whenever the release of the intellect thought per thousand per wink of the eye reduce it to self 800 700 you are old doesn't matter your age is 20 year old that is jar jar means then there is a break there is a gorge there is a crack you are young by the intellect you are happy by the intelligence and you are graceful by the consciousness just remember it for reference and you are in misery because of your fear and you are blind in your life because of your ego when you are a ego you will exist 
but you shall not be in a position to compute your intelligence or your tomorrow, and you will do mistakes. Then earth will be more to you than heavens. You will not be in a position to keep the balance. And doesn't matter who you are, your life will be nothing full of tragedy and pain, and will go from event to event. If you don't believe me, test your best friend on the matter of earth, territory, and conception. You'll find what comes out of it. Talk to somebody about heavens and ecstasy for centuries. It will go all right. That's why spiritual people in their lecture always talk heavens and yonderlands. They do not talk when you are hit on the left cheek what you should do. Only one man talks when you are hit on the left cheek, turn your right to get hit again. He was right in the Piscean age. Age of Aquarius is when somebody hit on your right cheek, left cheek, whatever, tear up of your right cheek so he may not hit anybody again. Nail him down, ribbit it. That is what Miri Piri means. That is what saint and soldier means. Take it on the left cheek. Be a saint. Take it on the left cheek. cheek. Be a saint. But the man should not have right cheek ever again. Doesn't matter which surgeon he goes to. So that the whole world may know he did hit somebody on the left cheek. And that principle is saint and a soldier. Don't take it easy. Oh, we are saints and soldiers. I'm giving you the practical conception of it. Miri and Piri. Piri means be divine, be a sage, be a saint, be wonderful. But be, Miri means be an imperial justice. Do justice. And that justice is justice when you are to judge against yourself. If you are into judgment, judge yourself first before you judge anybody. Judge. I'm not, a, you are not. Thousands of years you have been told not to judge. You don't stop. You're not going to stop today. Forget it. So long there is an earth in your element, you will judge. But judge yourself. First, put yourself in other person's position and judge, and then act, and then judge the other person. That's also law of Miri and Piri. Then, it's a dharma of sh Shastra and Shastra. If dharma of wisdom and self-defense. It's a martial an art. It's not one word, martial art. It's martial. It's when one falls, ten will take the place. That's martial. It flows. It has no discontinuity. It continues. Actually, Sikh Dharma is nothing but learning maturity and living by the experience of your own maturity. Rest is all. If somebody says, this person is this, this person is that, no. Every person is by its own right, achieves its own maturity, and lives by the strength and experience of that maturity, and that's all it is. I was discussing with somebody today, and I said, don't take risks with this guy. Why, sir? I said, he comes from parentage, parents which were over-possessive and fanatics. So automatically in his, a situation is to revolt. It's not that he is a rebel, not that he wants to revolt, but this man has a tendency, included it in himself. I said, this is a package deal. So you've got to watch when this guy is going to pull the rug under.
are you sure it will happen? I say, are you sure you are listening to me? Who is sure who? You are saying, are you sure it will happen? I am saying, are you sure you are listening to me or you are hearing some radio? I called somebody mother that day. I say, how is it? She said, what you said? I say, I said. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Because seven years and eleven years, that is where child take the route. And on eleven years route, he matures himself in eighteen years. That is his natal base on a which a native moves. Natal base to be changed by the yoga of awareness or by Raj Yoga was needed, wanted, or Shabd Yoga because human brain has a stem. And stem is the fundamental base. Believe me or not, thousand years from now, they are going to grab about this, that Yogi Bahan gave a lecture in 1992, and he said so. As yesterday said, to inquisit this guy who said the world is round was wrong. First time in 400 years they have agreed to that. Galileo, poor guy, is now honored by Pope himself. He said, though the priest did not have bad intention to hang him upside down, and I'll say, though the Romans have no idea to put Jesus on the Christ, so he forgave the Romans today because he sits in the Rome himself. But similarly, the entire human brain is based on the three layers of the stem which science is going to find in 1,000 years, what I'm talking today. Not today. It's none of their business. <laughs> and you have seven layers of the neurons inter-exchange and plating. And you have 14 layers of action. Your frontal lobe is the master reserve power which can surmount everything. But to remove the arrogance and the ignorance to get to the wisdom, you have to go to a process in which you can rotate the fixation of the stump bottom to move the frontal lobe. So you cannot, like a record, you cannot change a neuron pattern, but you can reprint it. Every car under the Ecom car can be restored back to its originality, though it's a costly process. But some people have done it. They are called sages, swamis, yogis, saints. They reprint their own fortune on their own forehead, which is the screen of the frontal lobe if I'm technically right, <laughs> which I am. But I'm leaving the word if, because that way you will understand me better. It will not bore you to have exact words, because being confused and being intellectual is the basic element of a human. And intellectuals are not intelligent because intellectual can talk, can speak, can visualize, can know, but cannot perform. Like you can choreography a dance, but you don't have a legs, you can't dance. So intellectuals are legless dancers. And they are handless carpenters. And they are headless wisdom. Do you know intellectual is so wrapped up into an intellectualist that the guy doesn't know what he's saying? 
if you get to these rappers and just ask them to repeat something, you'll be shocked. And they are going to say, what? You break my continuity. And they normally are found in coffee houses. They drink coffee and talk a lot till every newspaper shuts down. And that's why coffee is very popular drink. It charges you up. Leaves you nothing in your nerves, but for the moment, it does serve you. Similarly, you understand this world and planetary situation. You are afraid of your own wisdom. Wisdom means commitment. Wisdom means responsibility. Wisdom means discipline. Wisdom means receiving people and sharing people. Wisdom means everything. Wisdom also means whether you exist or not, what is required to be done has to be done. It's a duty. Once in our Second World War, we were fighting the biggest ship are made of Japan. And it got located by just a fluke. Somebody berserked out, and he found it out. They calculated their naval strength. And they found out there are no match to it. Chances are remote. You know what the commander said? He said, we do not command our day. These are his words. If we do not command our day today, nobody shall command it tomorrow for us. If we do not command our day today, nobody shall command tomorrow for us. And this is called wisdom. They fought a battle. They rose with the heavy casualties, losses, but the victory was perfect. Because the enemy never expected this handful of people can take that jump and lead and be on a But there was a call of duty. Wisdom makes you fulfill call of duty. Wisd what you work in life for? What do you work for? Status? There's not a one person who doesn't work for his status. You all work for status. You all work for having a state. You all want to make a statement. Three Things in a human are commonly known, and they can never not exist. I have told that story many times. Once a group of officers, I was showing them the Golden Temple, and we explained to them, and they were very happy. In the end of Prakarma, when we leave, we found a beautiful uh, sadhu, sannyasi, who had a beautiful, beautiful, this uh, chita, this skin of around, which has spotted thing. Do you call him cheetah? Yeah. He looked pretty to me. I don't know. It looked pretty to them. And they requested me. They said, sir, can we have a picture with this gentleman just as a memory to visit the Golden Temple? And I said, well, I'll request. So I requested him. And he agreed very poli politely. And he said, thank you very much. So when we were all 25 officers standing, and he was with us, and we were standing on the prakarma according to our heights and everything. He was in the center, and the cameraman was ready to go. He said, stop! And I just shook up. I said, what happened? I said, sir, he has to click the button, and he, he said, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm asking him, stop. Let me take care of the skin, the wrinkles. And he stretched his skin on his body. I laughed, I cracked up, I fell on the floor. <laughs> I said, this man, who has left the whole world? <laughs> but that was a moment of making a statement. I didn't want wrinkles. <laughs> the man has walked years and years in that skin. And he has left the whole universe. But that was a moment of statement. That was a moment of his status. And that was a moment of his state. And after it finished, he turned to me. He said, you come to Golden Dawn regularly. I said, yes, sir. And he said, give me a copy. I said, I'll, <laughs> I'll deliver it to you tonight. <laughs> As I'm laughing today, whole day I laughed. So long man will live. 
and his three gunas will live, Rajas, Tamas, and Satvik, he will have the urge. That's the purpose of life, actually. No denial about it. You will have a status, you will have a statement, and you will have a state. That's the purpose of life. And that is what wisdom makes you to come through. That is what wisdom is. That domain, that dominion which you want to rule, you apply the law of faculty of actuality, not of imagination. If you apply anywhere the imagination, this will happen this. No, you have to have statistics, strategy, and statement. These are the practical life which is taught basically in Sikh Dharma, if you really want to understand. And that's what Shabad Guru is. Shabad Guru explains the statement of the soul, strategy of the human, and state of mind. If I have not surprised you. That's what Sikh Dharma is all about. The concept of the Shabd Guru is made in a very particular way. It's made in a very scientific way, and it is very arty. Every Shabd has a sound, and that sound directs, that sound directs not the intelligence, the intellect. It's amazing. People do not understand Gurbani. They don't understand Guru Shabbat. They are far away from it. They are living in a desert and talking about rainforest. That's what my experience is with Sikh Dharma and is theologians. They do not understand what Gurbani means. They want to translate it. They want to understand it. They want to read it. Now, to a blind man who has to put his fingers on the book to read it, tell him, translate it. Analyze it. Take each, uh, that knot, what they call that thing up. That's how it is, isn't it? Yeah, braille, braille, whatever it is. I mean, it's a type stuff. And all he does it with a touch, and he reads those touches. Now tell him, each word you read, count the touches. No, he will take a century to read one word. Uh, why don't you ask that uh, blind man to put his fingers, and first in each letter, you count the knots, the up knots, and then read the word. He'll throw the book at your face, though he's blind. The process to change a man out of his graveyard and to bring him to light is to rotate the stem of the brain which controls the vibratory, continuous process of the intellect. And intellects give you a thought on which intelligence is developed and wisdom contains it and your human efforts fulfills it. That's how the process is. It is not something we don't know. So what happens when you read Gurbani and pronounce is right? You can change your whole thing if you want to change. You might be asking, what are we doing here? Because you have been trained by religion for 2,000 uh, over years to worship a man. And in Nanak's time also, up to Guru Gobind Rai, you were initiated by the right thumb, that mean, that mean Agya Chakra, that mean pituitary, which is represented in the center of the right foot, positive and left foot negative. Toe, 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 toe. And that thing you had to put, that toe, right foot into the water and initiated, that water was given to the disciple and they were initiated. Guru Govind Rai changed it to the double-edged sword, to the steel. Because man's son was to become steel son. They wanted stainless steel imprint forever. That's why after that, 
history could produce Sikhs which were deathless, fearless. They have no vengeance in the enemy when the war was in the evening over and it was time to collect the dead body and take care of the wounded. They will make the nagara, they will make the sound and say, Langar is served. If anybody on the enemy side will cry, they'll go pick him up, heal him up, give him the food first, and then reach him back to the enemy lines, which enemy couldn't do. War was the duty of the Kshatriya, but grace of the saint was there. And that power came from the Shabd Guru. That power came from the Bani, because Bani is Bani is a strength of the knee, is a strength of the inner soul. Knee. When we call a girl, hey, knee, knee, idara, knee. Knee is a personal word when you call the in self of the person. The word is bana, bani. Na means what is outside, what you declare to other side, that is not me, this is me. So that's why we have got bana, bani, and we have seva selfless service which will give us friendship, territory, jurisdiction forever. Bana Bani Seva Simran, Samaran, on which we are willing to die and beyond death. That's what we believe. That's called Ishta. Who has Ishta has no Nashta. Nashta means destruction. Who has Ishta has no Nashta. No, nothing, nothing can destroy that person. I'm trying to tell you the Though it may be boring to you, but I'm telling you, I'm boring in you, let us put it that way. The, what Shabad Guru actually means, don't be foolish and don't go after these theologians, they'll, they'll totally destroy you. Because they are self-destroyed themselves. I mean, they do it for money, they do it for living, you know. They have to tell you what suits you. Preachers are never teachers. And a teacher and student relationship between a stone and a chisel and a hammer. And it does create a spark. Don't they say when you meet your teacher creates a spark? That this spark. And I tell you how big star spark it creates. Once a very royal king asked his grand vizier, Grand vizier, I have everything. He said, yes, your lordship, you have everything. He said, one thing I don't have, I don't have a teacher. He said, when you'll be ready, my king, teacher will appear. He said, when? I said, I didn't say when. I said, when you will be ready. Did you hear me? I said, I'm very eager. God knows he will ne I will never be ready. He said, well, if you'll never be ready, he will never appear. He said, but uh, is there something we can quicken the matter? He said, no, don't do it. Why not? He says, sometime teacher appears and you are not ready and you will be have a trouble because teacher has to only appear once and for that one moment. Time granted to you by your soul, by the God, is one wink of the eye. Within that you don't recognize, you are goofed. He says, if I recognize, he says, you have also the right to deny him. Accept, deny, that's your free will. That's not God's will. But God's will is, teacher will appear. It's very funny. One day, Grand Vizier and that king, that emperor, were walking together. And there was a beggar. He was begging money. And he looked at it and he said, hey, hey, I'm not asking you to give me any money. That's I know. You have it and you don't want to give it. But you stupid, you are walking wrong. Because they were walking like a cat paw, you know, they, he was a king and he was a grand vizier, they don't want to be recognized. They were in a change uh, clothes and their walk was not their real walk. They were walking very consciously and cat walk. And he said, don't mess up your brain by walking this, you thieves, you are not real, but and moreover, you have money and you don't give it to me. Get out of here. And uh, King turned around and gave him money. He said, stupid, brainless man. 
I don't want your money. Take it away. He looked at the Grand Vizier. Grand Vizier looked at him. And he said, no, you should accept my money. He said, the man who doesn't know how to walk, I can't even accept him as my apprentice, as a beggar. You're talking of accepting your money? Where you come from? And the king, without looking at the Grand Vries, bowed. And he said, Master, I have found you. And he says, stupid king, never walk like a cat. Walk like a lion. That's my only lesson. Now go away and don't spoil my business. And never see me again. King got up in great reverence, put his hand around the neck of the Grand Vizier, and lingered on to his palace. Never came out of the palace for 40 days. When he came out, first thing he asked, Grand Vizier, how is my master? He said, I went right after leaving you here, he just disappeared. He said, within my range of territory, find him. He said, Lord, it is the 40th day the research party is gone. We have no trace of it. How long he was there? He said, people say he was there for the last 20 years. A man lived in my city 20 years, and then after half an hour, he disappeared, and you cannot find him. He said, I've been to astrologer. Even I have insulted myself by going to a psychics. And he said, I can't find it. He said, OK, we are going to find it. So he went to a teacher of his guru, which his father said when he was dying, my son, if there comes a spiritual entanglement and crossroad, I have a guru. You can go to him. So he went to him. And he said, my father said, in my difficulty, I should come to you. I have lost my teacher. He laughed. He said, stupid, you make me back 20 years. What you have lost? You have lost nothing. You don't have eyes. Take this uh, kajal, some, that black thing with a put in eye, so you have a good eyesight. And when he put that, he learned. He only see at distance, he couldn't see near. And first time in his life, he saw near and distance both. His focal lens changed with that thing. And he said, was it you, my master? He said, which side is your face? He said, it is to the south. He said, don't turn around, leave right now, and don't disturb my business. It was the second time he recognized again. And he moved and went on. This is the life of those who are drunk, dumb, and insensitive with Maya. Even them gods gave them the opportunity to find the opportunity. We are very fortunate. We should be in ecstasy. We are not even born, conceived. Our guru is out, and he doesn't walk away. And he doesn't say, get out of me. Never said it. Never will say it. But one tragic part is, when you open it up, it's going to say the same thing again and again and again. And I mean, there's no steadfast guru in the planet than this. I think Guru Gobind Singh knew how stupid is coming force humans will be. So he gave a permanent print <laughs> and said, look idiots, doesn't matter what you're going to do to it, but this is what is me, and this is me for the last time. Neither I'm going to move, nor I'm going to depend on you, nor I'm going to ask you food, nor I'm going to ask you water. If you honor me, it's your honor. If you dishonor me, it is your dishonor. If you leave me, you have left yourself. If you stick with me, you, have go, you shall go across. That is what we say, Why Guru Naam Jahaz Hai Chade Sutre Paar Jo Sardha Kar Sevende Guru Paar Uttaran Haar 
That's exactly what it means. That is why Guru. Guru is the anchor. God is the grace. And man is the recipient. It is your destiny to receive that. It's my prayer. All of you have walked this distance of a quarter century today. You remember first Guru Gadi day? You don't remember it. First Guru Gadi day happened in Aspila, not with the pomp and show. We found out Japji. <laughs> I remember it. We found out Japji. <laughs> Nitinem Gutka from somewhere. God knows somebody brought it. Otherwise, we used to, we used to burn fire and say, why grew, why grew, and we, we didn't have a one thing. We used to decorate the grounds with uh, leaves and uh, reeds, and uh, we didn't have any uh, seras or malas. We used to wear those green leaves and flowers to decorate the couples, remember those? And finally, we found one gutka nitnam. That's how Sikh history started. And we used to keep that and go around it four times and reading nothing, <laughs> just saying Vai Guru, Satnam Vai Guru. And uh, first Guru Gadi Day was uh, celebrated in that house, which is uh, where the coach used to stop. That was the only house bought, which you call it now ashram. And we went around this ashram, putting that Nitinam Gudga <laughs> on our head. <laughs> and we took four rounds. That's exactly how it happened. And it was the first time I came to Mexico, New Mexico. And uh, we bought this house, and I came to celebrate here our opening of the ashram. And uh, it was funny. And we got married to this ashram. In other words, we went four times around <laughs> keeping the gutka. And I do remember it was a Sundar gutka. And uh, we didn't have clothes to cover it. So what we did is, first they put it in a, in a kind of bag. It, I remember it is a Chinese bag. And I came and I said, no, this is wrong. You have to cover it with clothes. And somebody took half of his turban. I, it, I'm an eyewitness to it. And they tear it up into different rumalas. And how many? I said, normally in seven, five will do. So we made <laughs> four parts of it. And the fifth one was not available. So fifth one was somebody had a beautiful handkerchief, and that worked as a fifth. And that gutka was taken up on, <laughs> on the head. And first, Nagar Kirtan started. Now imagine that, and imagine today. And that will open your eyes. And imagine from a 1,000 years from today. And imagine thousands of years from today. You can very well understand how we have walked and how we have understood. First time I was asked question, we used to chant Ekongar Satnam Si Vai Guru, and a young man walked to me. He was very, first time a man I met who has three priest clothes and a basket on the small coat underneath, you know, full three piece and tie and the whole thing. And he has a handkerchief on his head. And I said, where did you learn to tie this way, Henker? He said, I went to India, and I was at Golden Temple, and I learned there. And he said, this mantra is not in this, uh, in this uh, nitne. And I said, what is it? He said, it said, ekamkar sat naam karta puruk I said, well, that is a mantra. That's the ashtang mantra. That's nothing to do with this is a mool mantra. And I explained to him, I found it out that man has studied at Golden Temple for 40 days Sikh Dharma way, way earlier than me. So it's not that people don't know and people are not going to meet their destiny. Destiny, only our prayer today is that let our destiny not give distance and put us in the hand of the fate. That's all is the prayer. And that's why we say, Pale bure am tare, Prabhuji, Pale bure am tare, God, bad and good, we belong to thee. Please don't do this to us. That's all is our prayer. It's all there. And my, my technical feeling is first time, first time in the history of the man, man is free from the man. And we are grateful to the father of this nation, Guru Gobind Singh, who humbled himself before the Khalsa to become a guru again. And thanks to his that act, 
And thanks to his the greatest act, he freed us, give us the sovereignty as a man to give us to the Shabad Guru, the Sri Guru Granth. That's what he did. And may that live forever. May all those who are virtuous, wise, and who has valor, may follow the path of life and reach their destiny. So the words of Nanak come true. Though it's a hard word and the word of sweat, Jinni naam te aya, gaya musakkat kaal, nanak te mukujale, keti chuti naal, vai guru ji ka khalsa, vai guru. Children, your program, please come on the stage. Their last after words, their time comes, they are all over. <laughs> I never knew why we made that big stage. Now I understand. Come on, come on, hurry up. For those of you who aren't familiar with our program, <laughs> Mr. Singh Sab asked some months ago that the children come up to the stage and lead the adults, establishing a certain pattern that the children's souls could come and lead the adult souls and they could learn leadership and the ability to teach. So each time we do a little song and we teach it to the adults so the adults can participate and then we all join in together. So if the children can stand up. All children may stand up, including their mothers. <laughs> Today's song is Obey, Serve, Love, Excel. So I'd like the children to show the adults what the movements are. So not, not with partners, just stand forward and face the Sangit. There you go. Okay, the first one is Obey, and you gather the teachings. Leave your bunnies on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> you leave your bunny on the ground and, and you punch gather. Five parents must stand up because they are children of the Guru too. What do they think they are? Huh? No. Okay, so you gather the wisdom and bring it to your navel. Go ahead. You've got to do a little better gathering that wisdom. Let's see it again. Yeah. Let's obey. Serve, you put your hands on your heart center and give it out. Love, you make the special love glasses to see the world with love. <laughs> Excel, you pat yourself on the back and rise up. Little lesson there, right? Okay, and then you bring your, curl your hands down into the heart center and you do the sign of infinity. If you can show them one way, 
and then the other way. Okay, let's try again. So gather the teachings and bring them to your navel. Obey, serve from the heart. If you don't have a partner, your hands are up. So your palms extend upwards if you don't have a partner. Love. Look through those glasses. You might need them. Excel. Pat yourself on the back and rise up. Bring your palms down to the heart. And the sign of infinity. Okay. So the adults don't have partners, so you'll have to serve everyone, like so. And the children can take a partner. Ready? Obey, serve, love, excel. That's the way I live in infinity. You are children of Guru, you can do it too. Watching those who do wrong. For those of you who don't know this one already, you can demonstrate. I, palms on your, your heart, am <coughs> happy. I am good. <laughs> you don't remember. I is palms on the heart. I, 
and prayer pose and clapping up I and good again I and clapping I and good Satnam 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 G Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Wahe Guru G Satnam 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 G Wahe Guru Wahe Guru Wahe Guru G Ready I am happy I am Everybody sing. Everybody, everybody. They are not doing, look at them. It is called child therapy and if you all adult who are sh ashamed to say, I am happy, I am good, that's what was most difficulty I saw you, you couldn't utter that word for a while. Children can. 
I mean, you are so afraid to sit and move yourself. You want to move the whole world, you can't move yourself. I think what we are doing to our children, in other words, is we are retraining the child in us, which is really spoiled. <laughs> and if you, can you believe the corporation officers come in the morning, sit on a huge office, and do this for 15 minutes, <laughs> can there anything go wrong? I don't think so. We are very grateful for this. I think somehow we put this in a book form to let the whole world know how we started to be healthy, happy, and holy, and how we have been good and happy. I mean, now you all smile, your face has changed. I can see you got it more out of it than these kids. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Now sit down, you masters. of death that we must live in. When things are down and darkest, that's when we stand taller till the last star falls. We won't give an inch at all. Stand as a pulse strong as Steady storm, give our lives to God and Guru, mind and soul. Let them born. Guru Arjan gave his life to stand for what was right. He was burned and tortured. Five long days and nights, he could have stopped it any time just by giving in. His strength a solid wall, he never gave an inch at all. Sons of the
Ramdas Guru, Ramdas Guru, Ramdas Guru, Ramdas Guru, Sachi Sahi, Ipunkar, Siri Wai Guruji Ki Fate, Siri Bhagoti Ji Sahai, Var, Siri Bhagoti Ji Ki Patishai Dasmas, Pritam Bhagoti Simit Ke Gunanak Nepiai, Virangad Gurte Amardas, Ramdas Ehoi Sahai, Arjan Hargo Bindano, Simharao, Siri Harai, Siri Ar Krishan Diaya Jisadite Sabdukajai. Take Bahadur Simriya Karano Nidave Tai Sabtai Hoi Sahai. Great, great is Guru Gobind Singh, protector of the faith, master of the unity, father of the Khalsa. May he protect us everywhere. The light of the ten Gurus, our living Guru, the word of God and truth of truths, the city Guru Granth Sahib, by meditating on its words, all suffering vanish. Meditate, O Khalsa Ji, Bolo Ji, Satnam! 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 Meditate on the four sons of the tenth master, the Panj Gyare, the forty liberated ones, the four holy tuckets, all the dwelling places of the Guru, all those places sanctified by the touch of the Guru's feet. And call on God, Bolo Ji, Satnam! 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 Meditate upon all those who were broken on the wheel, cut limb by limb, who gave their scalps but not their hair, those women who sacrificed for truth, all of those men, women, and children, known and unknown, who, in spite of all harassment, in all spite of all torture, in spite of all temptation, never compromised their dedication, devotion, and commitment to live according to the Sikh Dharma with all their hair to the last breath. And call on God, Bolo Ji, Satanam! 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 Meditate upon all those who were true to the Guru, who wrote in the Amrit Vela to chant God's name, who did their sadhana regularly with consciousness and awareness of it as a blessing, all of those who earned righteously and who shared with others, all of those who paid their dust bond, who gave back to the Guru the one-tenth that belongs to him, all of those who upon seeing the faults in others unsee them, and call on God, Bolo Ji, Satnam! 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 Now let the whole Khalsa offer its prayer. May the first prayer of the Khalsa always be, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe for as we speak God's name, so we are blessed and so we expand into the infinity of our destiny. May we never give des distance to our destiny. May we accept that glory, that grandeur, and that sovereignty, which is our birthright as sons and daughters of Guru Gobind Singh. May we recognize and accept and embrace our destiny to lead the sovereign Khalsa spiritual nation to its greatness and to be leaders and examples and lights for all on this planet to follow. May the Khalsa unite in love. May Sikhs be humble, but may our wisdom be exalted in the keeping of the Lord. O oh, kind and loving Guru, we give thanks on this day that we have the Shabad Guru, that our Guru can never betray us, 
can never have any weaknesses or failings and can never die. We give thanks that we can share our guru with each other and as a treasure beyond description, the more we share, the more we have. We give thanks for our satsangats everywhere. We give thanks for the strength, the encouragement, and the inspiration we receive from each other. We give thanks for our beloved teacher and guide, the Sirisin Sab Bhai Sabar Bhajan Singh Khalsa Yogiji, who has given us the technology, the inspiration, the example that we may follow and that we may hopefully, according to his prayer, we may even excel. We pray that God bless him, protect him, energize him, uplift him, heal him, rejuvenate, regenerate him, allow him to live for many, 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 many more years to continue to teach us and our children and their children. He is unique among men. We pray that we may be able to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear and the courage to live through the teachings that he has given us. We give thanks that we have been able to come to the house of Guru Ram Das, Takade Khalsa in Espanola. We give thanks for the Khalsa Council as a body. We pray that it may be guided, that all the members may live to their highest destiny to serve the Satsanga. We pray for the healing of all those who are sick and in need of your infinite healing power. There is no limit to your kindness. And there is no limit to the possibilities that exist within each and every one of us to hail Guru Ram Das and heal the world. Hail, hail Guru, Guru Ram, Ram Das and, and heal the world. Hail Guru Ram Das and heal the world. We pray for peace on this entire planet. And all those who are oppressed or who are persecuted for their faith may be freed from this torture and that peace, harmony, and righteousness may reign. On this day, we ask for special blessings for those who are celebrating their birthdays. Guru Sham Sher Singh on his fifth birthday. Preeti Kar Khalsa, who recently celebrated her birthday. And Hes Siddhi Chand and Lakshmi Chand, please bless Siddhi Chand and Lakshmi Chand Singh on their 13th birthday. May this renewal and return of the solar energy to each of these individuals bring with it a resurgence of spirit, an opening up of the heart, and an awareness of the mind to excel, to obey, to serve, and to love, and to excel. Please bless Elizabeth Stiles, who's in the hospital. May lo God's love and light fill her. Kara Prashad has been placed before you. As its steel passes through it, so may the courage of Guru Gobind Singh infuse each one of us, and may the sweetness always remind us to keep our tongue sweet so that every word we speak may bring a blessing. Langar has been prepared in your name. May those who prepared these gifts of yours be blessed. May we who receive it be blessed to recognize that everything that comes to us is your gift. That all things come from God, and all things shall return to God, and everything is your doing. If we've made any mistakes or errors, we ask that you forgive us, help us to do better in future, cover for us as you have always done, because good and bad, we belong to you, O oh Lord. May we always be blessed to be in the company of people of love in whose presence we may remember and repeat your name. Nani Gnam, Cherdi Kala, Teribani, Serbatabala. Why Guruji ka call sa? Why Guruji ki pate? Agya vea ka ki tabi chayo panta. Subsi kanko hukameha guru manio granta. Guru granta ji manio pragat karaki de. Jo krab ko milbo jehe ko shabad mele. Raj grega call sa aki rehe na koi.
ਸਤਿ ਸਹਿਜ ਸੁਭਾਏ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਪਰਸੀਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਕੇ ਜਨਮ ਮਰਨ ਦੁਖ ਜਾਏ ਹੋਵੇ ਸੁਖ ਦੁਖ ਸੰਵਦੀ ਨੂਰ ਹਰ ਸੋ ਕੁਰ ਸੋ ਚਟਿਆ ਤੁਧ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾ ਮਲ ਜਨਮ ਜਨਮ ਦੀ ਕਟਿਏ ਸੱਜਣ ਸੱਚਾ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾ ਸਿਰ ਸ਼ਾਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਾਹੋ ਜਿਸ ਪਾਸ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਸੋਈਏ ਸਭਨਾ ਦਾ ਵਿਸਾਹੋ ਜਿਸ ਪਾਸ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਸੋਈਏ ਸਭਨਾ ਦਾ ਵਿਸਾਹੋ ਤਨਾਸਰੀ ਮਹਲਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਛੰਤ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਤੀਰਥ ਨਾਵਨ ਜਾਓ ਤੀਰਥ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਤੀਰਥ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਅੰਤਰ ਗਿਆਨ ਹੈ ਤੀਰਥ ਨਾਵਨ ਜਾਓ ਤੀਰਥ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਤੀਰਥ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਅੰਤਰ ਗਿਆਨ ਹੈ ਗੁਰ ਗਿਆਨ ਸਾਚਾ ਥਾਨ ਤੀਰਥ ਦਸ ਪੁਰਬ ਸਦਾ ਦਸਾਹਰਾ ਹਉ ਨਾਮ ਹਰ ਕਾ ਸਦਾ ਜਾਚੋ ਦਿਓ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਤਰਨੀ ਤਰਾ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਰੋਗੀ ਨਾਮ ਦਾਰੂ ਮੈਲ ਲਾਗੈ ਸਚ ਬਿਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਕ ਨਿਰਮਲ ਸਦਾ ਚਾਨਨ ਨਿਤ ਸਾਚ ਤੀਰਥ ਮਜਨਾ ਸਾਚ ਨ ਲਾਗੇ ਮੈਲ ਕਿਆ ਮਲ ਤੋਈਐ ਗੁਨੇ ਹਾਰ ਪਰੋਏ ਕਿਸ ਕੋ ਰੋਈਐ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਮਾਰੈ ਤਰਹਿ ਤਾਰੈ ਉਲਟ ਜੋਨ ਨ ਆਵੇ ਆਪ ਪਾਰਸ ਪਰਮ ਧਿਆਨੀ ਸਾਚ ਸਾਚੇ ਪਾਵੇ ਆਨੰਦ ਆਂਦਿਨ ਹਰਖ ਸਾਚਾ ਦੁਖ ਕਿਲਵਿਕ ਪਰ ਹਰੇ ਸੱਚ ਨਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਗੁਰ ਦਿਖਾਇਆ ਮੈਲ ਨਾਹੀ ਸੱਚ ਮਨੇ ਸੰਗਤ ਮੀਤ ਮਿਲਾਪ ਪੂਰਾ ਨਾਵਨੋ ਗਾਵੇ ਗਾਵਨ ਹਾਰ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸੁਹਾਵਨੋ ਸਲਾਏ ਸਾਚੇ ਮਨ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪੁੰਨ ਦਾਨ ਦਿਆ ਮਤੇ ਪਿਰ ਸੰਗ ਪਾਵੇ ਸਹਿਜ ਨਾਵੇ ਬੇਨੀ ਤਾ ਸੰਗਮ ਸਤ ਸਤੇ ਅਰਾਧ ਇੱਕ ਅੰਕਾਰ ਸਾਚਾ ਨਿਤ ਦੇ ਚੜੇ ਸਵਾਇਆ ਗਤ ਸੰਗ ਮੀਤਾ ਸੰਤ ਸੰਗਤ ਕਰ ਨਦਰ ਮੇਲ ਮਿਲਾਇਆ ਕੈਨ ਕਹੇ ਸਭ ਕੋਏ ਕੇਵੜ ਆਖੀਐ ਹਉ ਮੂਰਖ ਨੀਚ ਅਜਾਨ ਸਮਝਾ ਸਾਖੀਐ ਸਚ ਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਸਾਖੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਪਾਕੀ ਤਿਤ ਮਨ ਮਾਨਿਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਕੂਚ ਕਰੈ ਆਵੇ ਬਿਖਲਾਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਚੈ ਗੁਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਆਖਨ ਤੋਟ ਨਾ ਭਗਤ ਪੰਡਾਰੀ ਪਰ ਪੁਰ ਰਿਆ ਸੋਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਚ ਕਹੇ ਬੇਨੰਤੀ ਮਨ ਮਨ ਜੈ ਸਚ ਸੋਈ ਆਖਨ ਤੋਟ ਨਾ ਭਗਤ ਪੰਡਾਰੀ ਪਰ ਪੁਰ ਰਿਆ ਸੋਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਚ ਕਹੇ ਬੇਨੰਤੀ ਮਨ ਮਨ ਜੈ ਸਚ ਸੋਈ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਤਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਫਸਕਰੂ ਚਾਂਤ ਇਕੋ there is but one god by the true guru's grace he is attained why should i go to bathe at the place of pilgrimage god's name is the real place of pilgrimage why should i go to bathe at the place of pilgrimage god's name is the real place of pilgrimage my pilgrim stations are the name's meditation and the inner divine knowledge the guru given gnosis is the true place of pilgrimage where the 10 festivals are ever obviously celebrated i ever beg for god's name grant me this boon o oh lord the world sustainer the world is ill the name is the cure all without the true lord the filth of sin attaches to it the guru's word is immaculate and it ever bestows light always bathe bathe thou in such a true place of pilgrimage filth attaches not to the to the true what filth have they to wash off if one twines the garland of virtues for oneself 
What for then one has to bewail? He who by meditation slays his self, is saved and saves others, and he enters not existences again. The supreme contemplator is himself, the philosopher's stone. The true are pleasing to the true Lord. Night and day he feels happiness and true joy, and his sorrow and sins depart. He attains the true name and beholds God through the guru. No impurity attaches to him as the true name abides in his mind. O oh friend, association with the saints' congregation is the perfect ablution. The singer who sings the Lord's praise is embellished with his name. Believing in the true guru, praise thou the true Lord. In this is contained the merit of giving of alms and charity and the compassionate nature, the truest of the true, who loves the society of her beloved Lord, is deemed to bathe at Trituveni, the confluence of the Ganja, Jamana, and Saraswati. Meditate thou on the one true Lord, whoever gives and whose gifts ever increase. O friend, salvation is obtained by associating with the society of saints, showing his mercy. The Lord unites man in his union. All out of the Lord's discourse, how great should I say he is? I am unwise, low and ignorant, and it is through the Guru's instruction that I understand him. True is the teaching of the Guru, whose words are nectar light. With them in my mind is pleased. Laden with sin, men depart and then return. The true Lord is obtained through my Guru. There is no end to narration of the Lord's glory and the treasures of his devotion. He is fully pervading everywhere. Nanak makes a true supplication. He who cleanses his heart becomes truthful. There is no end to narration of the Lord's glory and the treasures of his devotion. He is fully pervading everywhere. Nanak makes a true supplication. He who cleanses his heart becomes truthful. Wahe Guruji ka khalsa, Wahe Guruji ki fate. Sava